Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, my name is Vish Abrams. I am the chief architect for Heroku, and I have five minutes to talk to you today about the 12-factor app. How many of you are familiar with the 12-factor app? Raise your hand. Have you seen it before? All right, that's great. The 12-factor app manifesto was written actually more than a decade ago, in 2011, when one of the co-founders of Heroku, Adam Wiggins, decided to codify all of the best practices around creating applications that made it easy for application developers to build in a way that they didn't have to worry about where their app was actually running. So it's a series of 12 factors or principles that a developer can adhere to uh, to accomplish these goals. And what's happened over the past decade is that these principles have heavily influenced the way that we build applications and were actually foundational to cloud native applications becoming a, a common practice. I think I'd like to take a moment to really think about why these principles have held fast and been so strong over the past decade. Why are they still relevant? And I think if you really boil it down, it comes down to a principle which has sometimes been called the narrow waste principle when referring to the shape of an hourglass. I prefer to call it narrow conduit. I like the connotation of that a little bit better. But essentially, what the 12-factor app manifesto did is it took a set of principles or an interface um, that sits between an application developer and a platform. Basically, following the 12-factor principles means that as an application developer, you don't have to worry about all of the things that a platform developer needs to worry about. So if you think about 2011, when the app, app manifesto was written, there was a whole bunch of stuff that a developer had to worry about. Many times, developers weren't just developers. They were also system administrators. So you had to figure out how to get your VPS going. You had to install a LAMP stack onto it. You had to figure out how to keep it updated over time. There was a whole set of concerns outside of the actual building of the application. And what the 12-factor app manifesto did is it allowed the developer to stop having to be constantly yak shaving, right? So you didn't have, instead of just focusing on your application, you would have to go down to the next level and figure out, OK, well, what version of libc am I using? How do I get that installed? All of these concerns around operating the application were in your world. And then when you followed the principles of the 12-factor manifesto, suddenly it codified a lot of those things so that you just focused on your application code. But a lot's changed in the past decade. We're in a new world now. And so we've started an effort to update the 12-factor manifesto. Let's modernize it. Let's bring it into the cloud-native world and make it real and more current for modern developers. And we're doing it like an open source project. So Collaboration is going to happen in the open, through pull requests, et cetera. We've already started building a community around it. We've selected an initial set of maintainers to work together from a broad range of companies. And most importantly, we want help from all of you. We want application developers. We want platform developers. We want framework developers to really come together and collaborate on this process. So much has changed in the past decade. You know, now we don't have to deal with the cognitive weight of system administration, but we have new sets of cognitive weight. We have Helm charts. We have Terraform scripts. Suddenly, we're expected to orchestrate our systems in addition to just developing them. So we need to rebuild that narrow conduit again. We need to get back to no longer yak shaving. So what kind of changes are we making? So the main theme here for changes is sort of mindful transformation. So we want to keep the principles the same, but update the examples to refer to modern practices. We also have a, a, a goal of driving useful changes that actually make developers' lives easier. So in the early days of 12-factor, it, it was driving changes into frameworks, et cetera, so that you could codify those practices. We want to do the same thing. So I've listed here a few different principles that we're going to be focusing on initially. So first of all, telemetry has kind of been very popular over the past few years, especially with open telemetry coming to the forefront. The original manifesto just talked about logging, and that's it. So we need to improve some stuff there. The second thing is workload identity. So what we've learned managing hundreds and hundreds of applications at Heroku over the past decade is that secrets 
And connection information stored in configuration is one of the main places where we have security incidents and breaches. And it's hard to maintain and manage over time. So we'd like to codify workload identity as a major practice in app development so that people don't have to sort of use those foot guns over time. And then finally, um, the original manifesto really punted on the idea of distributed systems, more than one 12-factor application. And so we want to extend the principles to show how a team would decide, okay, I've got one app, now I need two, now I need three. How do I manage them together, et cetera? So really bring in those distributed systems, microservices concepts into the future. So in closing, we'd love your help. Please come participate in the community, snap this picture, join our Discord, talk to us, go to the GitHub uh, repository, make suggestions, review ideas, and let's work together to make 12-factor modern and bring it back into our awareness so that we can all benefit. Thank you so much.